Hey guys, I'm Nate. Welcome back to the workshop. Today we're going to be trying out an idea brought to us by Boiled for Safety, who wants to see what will happen if we put fire in a vacuum chamber. We've got our small candle here and we have a fairly large vacuum chamber and we're going to do a couple of experiments to find out what happens if we leave that candle burning in the vacuum chamber. First we'll see how long this candle can burn in our chamber if we don't pull all of the air out. The candle will be burning up all of the oxygen in this container, but it should be able to go for a little while since there will be a decent amount of air in here. After that, we'll put the candle in and pull all of the air out and see how the burn time compares. Then we have a couple of experiments that I think might make this a little bit more visually interesting. To start, let's just put our lit candle inside the chamber, put the lid on and see how long it burns. All right, candle going down into the vacuum chamber. And as soon as I put the lid on, I'll hit start. Now it's just a waiting game. These little tea lights have a pretty small flame, so it's not exactly burning up the air in there quickly, but at some point it's gonna run out. This should be an airtight seal. Oh, oh, the flame is starting to die. We're at three minutes, 50 seconds. We are finally seeing our fire start to shrink. It's barely hanging on there. I suspect when it actually goes out, we'll see a nice little plume of smoke fly off of that wick, and that'll sort of be our signal. Just past, there it is, four minutes. Almost exactly four minutes. And what a great little line of smoke that is. That is straight up, it hit the top of the vacuum chamber. Still got some really cool patterns in there. Some of it's not even falling, like there's just little bits of smoke chilling up here near the top still. Looks pretty neat. I'm also curious if it's actually created any sort of vacuum seal on the chamber. Yeah, gauge didn't even begin to move. Not that I can see at least. Let's pop this open. No resistance whatsoever. So, a lit candle in the vacuum chamber, but the vacuum not turned on. It takes it about four minutes for the candle to burn out because there's no oxygen left in the container. So let's try the same thing now, putting the lit candle into the container, putting the lid on, but this time we'll turn on the vacuum and start pulling the air out. We'll see how long the candle lasts. Here we go. Lit candle down into our vacuum chamber. And I'll try and put the lid on, start the vacuum, and then hit start uh, sort of all at once. This will be fun. All right, ready and... Whoa! <laughs> That's it. So we got about 15 seconds that time with our vacuum being pulled. I'm, I'm not able to hit the button quite exactly at the right spot, but 15 to 17 seconds and that thing just goes. I also thought it was interesting. We had what looked like water vapor or something formed almost immediately. As soon as I turned the vacuum on, our whole chamber filled up with some sort of vapor or smoke or something. It then cleared away, I think as it was pumped out, and then our candle went out and it filled the chamber with some more smoke. We definitely didn't get a full vacuum in here, but our candle couldn't handle it anyway. It went out very quickly. I wanna try the same thing scaled up, except instead of one candle, I'm going to fill the bottom of our vacuum chamber covered in those candles. So we'll see how many of them we can fit down there. We'll do the same thing with the lid, but no vacuum, and then while pulling a vacuum. Let's see if I can start loading these in. So, same thing, I'm gonna put this on, I'm gonna start the stopwatch, and we'll see how long these go before they just burn out. Here we go, three, two, one. Before it took four minutes for the one candle to burn out. Just waiting till the last one goes. That's it right there. All right, 17 seconds. That's how long a single candle lasted in the vacuum. Now we got about 22 candles that lasted 17 seconds with no vacuum. Hey, look at that. We pulled almost five inches of mercury. Very cool. All right, one candle doesn't pull anything. 22 candles. That pulls a tiny bit of pressure, enough that I can lift the whole thing by the lid. Let's let that back in. So, we'll try and relight these candles and then turn on the vacuum with the lid. I bet it's gonna go out pretty much instantly. Let's find out. Okay, I think we've now 
Got a good exchange. We'll try and light all 22 candles back up, put the lid on, turn on the vacuum, and start the stopwatch all at the same time. All right, I think that did it. Got 22 lit candles and they're flickering a lot because there's air heating and leaving the chamber and other cooler air going back into the chamber. We want to encourage that. We want lots of oxygen in there when we start. But here goes. Turn on the vacuum. One more, I think that's it. So, that time we got seven or eight seconds. I was a little slow to hit the button. And they don't all go out at once. I don't know what makes the difference between which ones go out first and which ones go out last. I assume that once most of them have gone out, there's the one candle that for whatever reason hasn't gone out yet. It is now not competing with the other candles for the oxygen. So whatever little amount of air is still in there, that one candle kind of gets all of it. So it does hold on a little bit longer than the rest, but still much less time. We've got a couple more things that we can try. I think we'll make this even more fun to see. Not too long ago, we had a video where we showed you some different methods of making different colors of fire. And now I wanna try putting colored flame into our vacuum chamber. Let's see what happens there. In our previous video, we did experiment with a lot of different colors. I think today, instead of trying to do all of the colors, we'll just pick three. And I'm gonna to try to do our red, yellow, and green flames. Now for red, as you may recall, we take a little bit of lithium extracted from a battery and we drop that down into our methanol. For our green flame, we take some more of the methanol and we'll add in our boric acid roach killer. And of course, for the yellow flame, we just use the red heat bottle. Beautiful, red, green, and yellow. So now let's see what happens if we put these three different colors of flame into our vacuum chamber. Let's start with our red. Lid on, but no vacuum. This is burning with considerably more fire than a single candle, so I suspect it won't last four minutes the way one candle did. We'll see if it's closer to four minutes or if it's closer to 17 seconds. It's getting harder to see, so I think it might be dying out, but Hard to be sure. Oh, I think it's gone. I think it just popped out in a single poof all of a sudden. Well, we got about 45 seconds with the lithium. No pressure from the vacuum to speak of. Let's try the same thing with the vacuum turned on. Nice pink flame. I think the flame looks bigger. Oh, and we're boiling the methanol. Ha! Well, I do think the flame has gone out, but just the low pressure, the methanol started boiling. I guess I should have seen that coming. Let's see what just happens if we put all three, our red, our green, and our yellow in at the same time. Once again, lid on, no vacuum. Here goes, three, two, one. They're getting dim. I think yellow's gone out. Red's struggling. Green's still going. The very oddly tall. Oh, I think that was it. It's gone. 17 seconds. Boy, we're getting that result a lot. Ooh, and a lot of good smoke. Let's take this outside and vent some of that smoke. As I was blowing some of the smoke out of our chamber outdoors, some of our containers spilled a little bit and that gave me an idea. I wanna see what happens. I'm just gonna try pouring some of the different mixtures straight onto the glass and see what happens if I light all of that off. All right, it's running. That looks awesome. Oh, I got nowhere. That just went out immediately. Uh, well, let's just light that and see what it looks like 
without the vacuum chamber. I can see all three colors. We've got red over here, yellow over here, and green over here. That's kind of fun. Definitely smoking up the walls a little bit. And hey, I also know how to put that out really quickly. Just turn on the vacuum chamber and throw on the lid. Bam! Fire out. It's an unconventional method of firefighting, sure, but it works. You just make domes that fit over an entire burning building, suck all the air out really fast. It's a perfect solution. Can't believe they haven't tried that yet. Fire in a vacuum chamber, as suspected, the fire gets put out pretty quick when you're pulling all of the air out of the chamber. This has been a fun experiment, and thank you to Boiled for Safety for your suggestion to try it. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you're not a subscriber yet, just hit the bomb to get in the club. If you missed our last video or want to see it again, just click up here at the top. Click down there if you want to see what the internet thinks that you should watch next. That's it for now. Have fun, be safe, and see you tomorrow.